Hey everybody, so trainer tip Thursday. Today we are going to talk about overhead exercises. So with any sets over your head, so it's either the A press or maybe an extension, anything that goes above your head. Um, what I happen to see a lot with that happening is I see a lot of knees locking. I see a lot of people over arching their back and compensating with their low back. So one thing to make sure of is we're just gonna go over all of the good form for anything overhead. So we're just gonna take a shoulder press for an example here. So you wanna always make sure that your feet are right under your hips. Remember your hips are not as wide as you think they are. Your hips are not here. Make sure your feet are not together, but feet right under those hips. My knees are not locked out. I will show you from the side. They are not locked out, but they are just unlocked. I'm not really thinking too much about it. They're not really super bent. If I'm doing an overhead press, can't really, we're just gonna do that. Um, see, so right now I am making sure my tailbone is tucked down. I'm making sure my belly button is in and up and contracting that core, squeezing those glutes. I'm getting a little bit of quad action here because I rotate my knees outward so that they're not coming in. And then I'm just front racking my pretend weights here. Automatically, my shoulders are gonna be rounded forward. So I'm gonna shoot those back. I may have to correct my body when I do that. And then as I come up, you'll notice that nothing is moving except for my arms. So what is not happening is I'm not pressing through, I'm not pressing back and away with that super arch. I'm keeping everything tucked and ready to go when I do that. I'm not letting my neck go forward either. If you always or seem to find that you keep leaning back, you can go with a split stance on your legs instead. That's gonna help to avoid any type of lean back and really focus on the muscles that you're using when you're doing an overhead exercise. So that is how you do really any type of overhead exercise when it comes to body posture. Again, we want to feel nothing in our low back unless it is a specific low back exercise.